Hello, my name is Alex Kim. I'm a car enthusiast and I'm here at Inje Speedium today. I came here, do some lapping with our business partners to see how they're doing, what they're doing to their cars and what's going on in the car industry. And today, I had an opportunity to see Hyundai Kona N prototypes right in front of me and drive along with those cars at really high speed paces on the track with this car. It was thrilling, it's fast, much faster than I thought, and it can handle heat, speed, and passengers and air conditioning in this grueling hot weather, all in a SUV package. It has the iconic and branded brake caliper and big brakes along with what I think is eight-speed DCT. So I try to keep up with this uh, FRS with aggressive tires on it. It's got very sticky tires, tread wear probably something around 140. That's good for lap times, but I was barely able to keep up with them. And in the straight, the car was definitely faster than FRS or even uh, MK2 PDK base Cayman, which means that it's packing a lot of power. And in this uh, warm weather with about ambient temperature of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit and hot surface temperatures uh, is posting a lap time of something like a minute and 59 seconds in its stock and prototype car trim. I think that's pretty incredible. The chasing through, chasing the car through the slalom and slow speed corners made it apparent that when the car turns in, the rear just uh, hops and just rotates to whichever direction the, the driver steers to. It's just like Veloster N, but perhaps with a little more enthusiasm when it turns into the corners. And a corner exits, it's fast too. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is just because it's a prototype car, and the car's exhaust sound wasn't all that apparent. So I think Hyundai might have dialed it down a little bit in terms of the noise department due to the new regulations and everything. But the car certainly is fast and it's track capable and I could not believe that it was able to keep up its pace for more than 10 minutes under uh, with 90% plus paces. So incredible car. I'm really excited to see it. Uh, it had all these ADAS or dra advanced driver assistant packages like the front collision radar and steering assist system it looked like. So I'm really psyched to see this car and I look forward to what Hyundai will launch in the next year or so.